guys, so this is the first ever video I've ever actually done that was par request to somebody I know in real life. So Sadie, who goes to high school, kept asking me to do this video, and I thought it was a good idea, and then quite a lot of other girls in my grade were like, oh my god, do this video. And it is what to wear under your graduation gown video. And I have very strong opinions on this. I was going to tell you guys to go naked just to see how many girls in my school would show up naked and be like, you watch my videos. I knew it. Don't lie to me. But instead, I decided to be helpful. I know, shocker, right? That is no sarcasm. It is a shocker that I'm deciding to be helpful instead of messing up your lives. So I want you guys to comment down below after you see all of the outfits I'm going to show you and tell me which one you think I'm going to be wearing to graduation. And then you'll see what it looks like on me when I do my graduation outfit of the day. Quick disclaimer, I'm graduating high school. I'm not graduating college. I really don't know what you wear to a college graduation. I'm assuming it's kind of a similar thing, but this is applies to all, all y'all graduating from high school. College too, I guess, if you want. So I live in California, so our graduation is going to be outside, but I honestly think you could wear any of these depending on wherever you live. I mean, if you're, it's like freezing cold, obviously you can't wear this. So the first dress is just this super pretty pale yellow dress with a whole bunch of embroidery here. It's super cute and super summery. It's definitely one of the more casual dresses, so if you're not like an insane girly girl, I'd go for something like this. Just a light pastel colored, basically just a nicer sundress, or just a sundress in general. This is also a very similar sundress. It's just white cotton material and then the back is all embroidered and lace. These are super simple. For both of these I would go for more of like statement earrings or something like that, but you probably want to be classic at graduation pictures just because graduation is like a momentous occasion in your life and obviously you're going to be looking at pictures of graduation forever so you don't really want to be wearing like a crazy outfit. Maybe you do, but... The next dress is actually the most formal out of all of the dresses I'm about to show you. And I actually wore this to my winter formal. And it's just this white dress that's got this like silver detailing in it. I think it's super pretty and it's definitely perfect to wear to graduation. If you guys do graduation a little more formal, I would go for something like this as opposed to a cotton sundress. This is more of a thicker, nicer material. So I honestly think it really depends on the material of the dress with what you can get away with. The nicer the material you should wear to a nicer event, the like jersey, cotton, anything like that, go for something if you're going to be really casual at your graduation. So another good thing about this dress is if you're going straight out to dinner, like graduation dinner or graduation parties straight after, I would go for something like this that can go from automatically being like, oh, daytime graduation dress to nighttime out to dinner dress, which is perfect. I mean, I'm not going out to dinner straight after graduation because we have our grad night th thing hosted by our school, but I think this is definitely perfect for something like that if you're doing that. So this last dress is basically the happy medium of all of these dresses, and it's just a white eyelet dress. It goes down to about before the knees and has a sweetheart neckline, just little cinches at the waist, and it's white. And obviously it's white, you can see it. And I think this is super, super cute, and it's definitely one of those dresses you can wear again. So my personal belief is graduation dresses are dresses you should be able to wear again. You don't even have to go out and buy a new dress, but if you're going to buy a new dress, buy something that's not just a one-time wear. Buy something that you can wear for sorority rush, or something you can wear to meet your boyfriend's parents, like your future boyfriends. I mean, my thing about fantasy is about like, oh my god, what am I gonna wear when I meet my boyfriend's parents? Like that non-existent boyfriend. No offense to you, Todd. I love you, but you can't keep me warm at night. Unless you're... I don't know what I'm gonna say. As for a price range, I really wouldn't spend more than like 75 to 100 on a graduation dress because Granted, you've probably spent money on prom dress, prom shoes, you've probably are going to be spending money on college tuition or a summer trip or anything like that. And it's easier, you can get something like super plain and un simple and you can dress it up with jewelry if you wanna like go for more of a funky look. But I think just a classic dress is perfect. You can find dresses like this anywhere. You can find them at H&M, you can find them at Forever 21, American Eagle, Lulu's, Mod Cloth, ASOS, anything, anything like that. Any place that has sundresses. I think the number one thing people in my school have questioned me about is what shoes to wear. At graduation. I personally don't believe you should wear heels just because you're gonna be walking up on a stage as big clap, 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 clap. Maybe your school does that. My school, it's, it'd be a little weird. I'd be like looking like, who is the chick in the heels? I would personally go for wedges. I've got three different wedges to show you. These ones are just brown Steve Madden ones. These are super casual. If you go for an earth tone one, they're definitely shoes you can rewear again and super easy, super nice. Another one of my favorites is wearing white. And these are like tiny little mini wedges if you guys are scared of wedges. And these are from Nine West. And they're, again, really cute sandals, but they're wedges, so it gives a little more, like, a little bit more of, like, a fancy thing. And the last ones are the most fancy wedges, which are the ones I actually wear to prom. And they're gold, super cute, just a thick black, I think they're black, not brown, wedge. And 
super cute. But for those of you attending graduation for the first time and you're not the graduate, I would recommend going for something nice but not nearly as nice as what the graduates are wearing just because you, you want to blend in, you don't want to stand out. So I would go for like a nice shirt skirt combo and this also works if you guys don't really enjoy wearing dresses and you're graduating so you can wear this too or if it's just really casual. But this is just a simple cute floral skirt and you pair that with like a nicer white top. This is like a white eyelet top. And it'd be super cute and really easy to wear and it doesn't upstage anyone who's graduating but you still have that whole like nice summary. Of course you could wear sandals or ballet flats or you could wear heels, you could wear a freaking clown suit. This is just my opinion and my taste on what I am personally planning on wearing to graduation. So I hope this was a helpful video and don't forget to comment down below and tell me which dress and shoes you think I'm going to be wearing to my graduation. And then stay tuned for June 9th, June 10th to see what I actually wore to my graduation for graduating high school. I know, crazy, right?